Well, we are back. Thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning to everyone that's here this morning. Uh, everyone that's looking at us via Facebook Live. For those on our conference call, I say good morning. Uh, bless you all for tuning in. We are getting a few housekeeping things out of the way. Uh, we are still on the same handout that we have been uh, going with for the past, I think this is the fourth, this will be the fourth week. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking at giving thanks in everything. And that's coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. And before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and go to God and pray. Father God, we come this morning. Lord, we come for no outside worthy show form mm -hmm. or fashion. God, we just come this morning yes, with God. thanksgiving yes, in our God. heart, like the lesson said. Yes. We come, Father Thank God, as Pastor God from Christian. We're in a process of faith, yes. God. Lord, Lord, when we're not feeling it, we're faithing it right now. Yes. And so, Father, Lord. we thank you for thank faith, God. Thank we you, thank you, Father God, for the hope in those things that we cannot see, mm. but having the confidence in knowing yes. yes. that you are bringing them to pass. Thank and so Lord. we thank you this thank morning, God. We give you honor and we give you glory. Lord. God, I come this morning just asking you to commune yes. and, and, and come in and be with yes. us. We know that you are our audience of yes. one. Yes. And God, we are here to please none yes. other than you, Father God. Yes. And so, God, we ask that you will have your way in our yes. hearts. Yes. Have yes. your way in our minds. Yes. Yes. Have your way yes. in this place, yes. God. Yes. Have your way yes. do what you yes. want to yes. do, God. Yes. 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 Lord. Yes. Yes. So, God, yes. let us leave here be and God. In a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a praise God. mode, speak in a God. thankful mode. Lord, and so, Father, I ask that you speak, speak God, that you sit me down and you stand yes. up, God. Yes, I pray, God, that you Lord, will increase Lord. where we can decrease. Uh -huh. where Lord, I ask you right now, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, take yes. over. Yes. Holy yes. Spirit, yes. do what yes. you do. Yes. Lead, yes. 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 teach, yes. and God, yes. yes. as yes. you yes. always do. Yes. Thank you for comforting yes. our hearts this yes. morning. Lord. And so, God, we love you. We love honor you. And we thank you for this time that we have with you. In Jesus' name, my friends. Amen. Amen. And thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Wonderful. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. I had to, uh, I had, y'all know I always got a little story to tell when I start teaching. Mm -hmm. But this morning, I had to, uh, I, 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 I had to go back and, and I had to, I thought about the, uh, I thought about the song that was sung this morning. I'm trading in my word for praise. I, I, I know that you're in control. I know, God, that you can work it out. So I'm trading in all my word for praise. And as I praise, I can be thankful. Thank you. And so I thank, we, we thank you. We thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for blessing us this morning. Thank uh, Again, as I said, we're still on giving thanks in everything. Mm. We're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Yes, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read out previous passages for today. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul says that rejoice always, mm -hmm. pray without ceasing, mm -hmm. in everything give thanks, yes. for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus yes. for you. Uh, but then he, I, I, I stopped right there, but then as I was studying this and, and as we're coming to a close, he tells us to do, he gives us one more instruction. He says, do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. And so as we look at this passage, as we go through uh, this passage for this morning, this lesson for this morning, we've looked at thankfulness through constant rejoicing. That's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16. Mm -hmm. When we rejoice in our adverse circumstances, B, uh, we can be thankful, we can constantly rejoice when we rejoice in the Lord because he is the one who controls the events. We can give thankfulness in everything when we rejoice in God's eternal peace. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when, when we looked at that, we, we yes. no matter who tells me no, God is still Come giving on me now. peace. Come on now. And so then we looked at 
Roman numbers 2. Thankfulness through constant prayer. That was 1 Thessalonians 17. He says pray without ceasing. Yeah. He says thankfulness through constant prayer. We can do that when we make prayer a part of our personal All right. spiritual discipline. Yeah. And so when you think about discipline, you got to speak to yourself All right. to discipline yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to, I don't know about y'all, but I know about me, oh, but yes. I'm trying to discipline myself. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, for those that know me, y'all know I've been, I've been on this weight thing. I've been up and down, up and down. And, and I, can, I don't discipline mm -hmm. myself personally. Mm -hmm. What I do, if, if I, I, my, my appetite will tell me to eat them Oreo cookies. <laughs> and so, but, but then my appetite don't say stop at two. No, no, I'm my not. appetite said don't eat that for You all right. You all right. But I got to discipline time. myself. To say two is okay, two is enough, right. and walk away from the pinnacle. Right. Don't stand there looking for some else to pour down. I got yeah. this. That's, that's what we do mm -hmm. when we are thankful in constant prayer. We discipline ourselves to even when we're tired, yeah. we fall on our knees right. or whatever your your process, yeah. your your position of prayer is. Mine is my knees are bad, mm -hmm. so a lot of times when. I, when I get up in the morning, I have an ottoman at the end of my bed. Mm -hmm. So I sit on my ottoman because my knees are bad. Yeah. And I sit on my ottoman and I discipline myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever your posture is, he's yeah. saying, don't cease doing it. Continue. And last week we used the illustration of a constant cough. All right. And we talked about that never ending prayer. Mm -hmm. It's like a constant cough. The cough is there, but I, if I got a constant cough, I'm not always. <coughs> I'm not always doing that, but every now and then you're gonna hear me say, <coughs> Yeah. Every now and then I'm gonna cough. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's still there, yeah. but I'm not doing it. I, you can't hear it all the time. Right. And so that never ceases, never ending. And and there gave us an illustration of my sister when she was on the oxygen. And because I can't say it the way she said it, but because that 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 oxygen helps her to breathe. breathe. It's the, uh, the, uh, 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 it, it helps her to keep breathing. She can breathe sometimes on her own, but she had to have that oxygen with her right. at all times in case she needed it. And so that's that, that never, I think I paraphrased that a little bit, didn't I, Gail? I didn't really <laughs> say it the way you said it, but that was the gist of it, like the, like the call. Yeah. And, 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 and he's, uh, uh, Paul is telling us that never constant praying is moment by moment Fellowship with God. Moment by moment, we are fellowshipping. We are oh, yeah. talking to oh, yeah. God. Because yeah. y'all know prayer is just communicating. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're just talking to God like I'm talking mm -hmm. to Seattle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, 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 that, that's, what, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a constant, never-ending conversation mm -hmm. with God. And thankfulness through constant prayer is also uh, when we convert our unceasing thinking to unceasing prayer. Mm -hmm. And I had to I've had several occasions since I've been doing this lesson to have to do that because I tell y'all all the time that us as women, you gotta know what I'm talking about. We lay down, we go to bed, but our brain is still going. Yes, our Lord. mind is our mind is still yes, rolling. It, 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 it's still rolling. It's either rolling on our job, it's rolling on our children, it's rolling on our health, it's rolling on menopause, it's rolling on hot. Being too hot at night, it's, it's stuck. Yeah, and so, good. what I'm learning to do, what this lesson is learning me to do, mm -hmm. is to stop focusing on what's going on about tomorrow, what I'm gonna do, or how I can. I, I begin to start saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name, yeah. thy kingdom yeah. come, thy will be done. Mm -hmm. When I turn that unceasing, mm -hmm. yeah, that unceasing mind, when I turn my mind off and begin to pray, yeah. then the, before I, I'm asleep, yeah, yeah. And I'm, the next morning, God has touched me with this thing of love and yeah. woke me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but we got to learn to, what, to to know what constant prayer is and then thanking him in everything. And now when I when, when I do wake up, I say, thank you, Lord, for turning my mind off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for letting me get some rest. Yes. And so that's where he wants us to be in giving thanks in everything, everything. by rejoicing and by constant prayer. Mm -hmm. And this morning, we're going to end on thankfulness in all circumstances, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, and it, it, it says that uh, in everything give thanks, mm. for this is the will of God yeah. in Christ Jesus for you. Uh, 
in everything give thanks. But this is the will of God. I, 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 I ran across this little story. It says that a Scottish, a Scottish minister named Alexander White was known for his uplifting prayers in the pulpit. He always found something for which he was grateful for. One Sunday morning, the weather was so gloomy that one church member thought to himself, hmm, certainly the preacher won't think of anything for which to thank the Lord for on a wretched day like this. Much to his surprise, however, uh, Pastor White stood up and began by praying. He said, we thank thee, O God, that it is not always like this. Thank you. So he found something. Thank you. We can be thankful. Yeah. Thank thank you. He found something to be thankful for. Yes. He said, I thank you, God, but thank it's you. not always like this. Yeah. And that's what he's telling us in our life. There's some gloom and righteous like this. well sometimes. Not always life. like this. But we got to learn to say, God, I thank you because it ain't going to always thank be like you. this. Yeah. The song that said trouble don't last always. Yeah. Mm. Trouble don't last always. So we got to thank him oh, yeah. in the good and thank oh, him yeah. in the bad. Yeah. He said thank give him thanks in that everything. Yeah. 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 What well, some of y'all might be saying, thank well, you. you know what? You can stand here and you can thank say that, but you just don't know. Mm. You don't know mm. like I know. Mm. I might not know like you know, but there has been some wretched weather in my life. Mm -hmm. my and life. I can tell you, God has never failed, he's never no. failed me, no. he's never left my side, he's never uh, 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 put me yeah. in a situation to where I could not call out his name, mm. he's always been God, he's the same today just as he was yesterday. Yeah. Just what he did yesterday, he will do today. Oh, so yeah. in that, tell yeah. me, thank you. who would not yeah. think of God like thank that? You. That's it. God is good. Yes, yes, he is. He is. And yes, so, he is. just like the minister found something in the wretched weather to be thankful for, mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. still found something to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. And Paul has said, in our life, we still got to find something That's to right. be thankful for. That's because right. even if it looked dark and gloomy, mm. even if it looked dark and gloomy, he's telling I can see the darkness and I can see the gloom. So I still got something to be thankful for because I can see it. And as we look at faithfulness in all circumstances, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, A says we can be thankful in all circumstances when we have confidence in the purpose and the providence of God. And so when we think about having confidence in the purpose and the providence of God, we're going to look at, if you would turn to me, with me, to Romans 8 and 28. A familiar passage that we, I, I, I always say I, it's my one of my favorite passages. I quote it all the time. But a lot of times we quote Romans, Romans 8 and 28 without having a confidence in the purpose all right. of knowing that God will work all things together for, yeah. his, for yeah. his good. Yeah. It says thankfulness in all circumstances. We can have thankfulness when we have confidence in the purpose and the providence of God. Mm -hmm. And that confidence is an assurance. That word confidence here is an assurance in the purpose and the providence of God. And so we know that Romans 8 and 28, it says, uh, that's about, yeah. Okay. So Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know that all things work all together things work for good. Yes. To those who love God. Yes. To those who are called according to his purpose. And so that's 8 and 28. Mm -hmm. It says all things work together for good. Now, it's three important truths that Romans 8 and 28. Mm -hmm. The first thing is, it includes loving God mm -hmm. and being called to his purpose. And to understand the truth of being called to his pr purpose, uh, if, 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 if we're not, we, we can't just quote the part of the verse we like and, and we know that all things work together for yeah. God's good yeah. and skip the rest. Because it, it's a more now. Yeah. Because he says, of those who love him, mm -hmm. who have been called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Romans 8 and 28 is a promise. 
Okay? For believers. For yes. real believers. Yes. For those who are living for Christ. Mm -hmm. And not those who claim to be living for Christ, mm -hmm. but living like the devil. What? It's, it's, it's a promise for us real Christians. Right. And, and, and so when you real, you know that you can say, and we know and with we know. confidence mm -hmm. to know that, and we know we are sure yeah. of the purpose and the providence All that right. God has in our life. Mm -hmm. And so the verse says, to those who love God and are doing their best to obey his command. Mm -hmm. you no, know, and, uh, and and those that are obeying Obey. his command. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we, we have to, we have to, if, if we say, and we know mm. that all things work together, we, we have to know that even in bad, yeah. sad, all things. evil, all. wicked things, all. anything that touch our life, anything. we have to know that God uses those yes, things Lord. ultimately to yes, bring about good, both oh. in our life, the yeah, willing yeah. in our yeah, life, yeah. and the willing in the world. Yeah, because y'all yeah. do know what we go through, it's not just for us to see. Right. Mm -hmm. It's for those around yes, us right. to be blessed. Yes. I, I often use this phrase that I want to live my life so a dark world mm -hmm. can see God. Mm -hmm. And so when we're in the darkness, mm -hmm. this, this scripture lights us up. Yes. This scripture is the salt to what we're supposed to be giving the world. It's All the right. flavor All right. to what we're supposed yes, to be is. giving the world. All right. And so, uh, Yes, it this is. uh 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 there was a, a write-up about Joni Epperson Tyler, an inspirational speaker, an author, and a singer. She's a, a quadriplegic who has been confined to a wheelchair for more than 40 years. She's been confined. Mm -hmm. And when people ask her why God allows suffering, she often simply says, My God. God allows what he hates to accomplish what mm -hmm. he loves. Mm -hmm. God allows what he hates to what accomplish hates. what he loves. God allows sin to come into the world. Yeah. But he used his son that he loved <laughs> to accomplish, to, yeah. to bring us to repentance and to bring us all to him through his son. Mm -hmm. So God allows what he hates to accomplish what he loves. Right. And what does God love? He loves for people to enter into a relationship with him mm. and become more like him. Mm. Jonah's life and ministry are a study testimony mm -hmm. of how God can use a tragedy like a paralyzing diving accident to impact the lives of millions. Nice. And, and sometimes when we get in diverse uh, uh, situations, when we get in situations, we're not thinking about how God is using it. We're trying to get out of it so quick. We're not thinking about how God is using us mm -hmm. and using the situations around us to heal and to help somebody yeah. else. Also in that is healing and helping us. That's and right. so Romans 8 and 28, that, 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 that called according to his purpose, we're called according to his purpose. But we're not just called to sit and look pretty Christians. Mm. We're called because he there's some suffering attached oh, to it. But he wants us to know that he's making us look more like him. And so, number two, Romans 8 and 28 doesn't mean our things will be good. Mm -hmm. No matter how rose-colored the glasses are, mm -hmm. there's nothing good about cancer. My, my. There's nothing good about sex trafficking. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing good about corona. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing good about COVID-19. Oh, there's oh. nothing good about it. There's nothing good about death. There's nothing good about uh, 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 being laid off your job. Mm -hmm. There's nothing good when a child goes wayward in our life. No. There's nothing good when we see our children hurting. So he's telling us that God, when, 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 when we attach to him, and just because we quote this scripture, mm -hmm. Romans 8 and 28, mm -hmm. all things work together for the good, it ain't gonna always be good. No, it ain't. It ain't gonna, it's not gonna always no. be good. And so when 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 when, when we do that, we, 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 we are giving things in everything. Mm -hmm. And so it says until Jesus returns and comforts Satan once and for all, sin will continue to drag its poison, poisonous tentacles across our world, damaging and destroying everything it wastes. But the truth of 8 and 28 reminds us also, although sin and Satan are powerful, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is more powerful. Yes, he yes, is. He is. Yes, he is. God is more yes, powerful. He is. Yes, he and he's is. able to redeem and restore 
did it thing for our good and his glory. Yeah. Let me say that again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes we, 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 we live like we don't believe. Right. God is able to redeem and restore anything for our good and his glory. Mm -hmm. That's 8 and 28. Mm -hmm. All things may not be good, but God can and will use all things for good. Mm -hmm. And so that's what he, he uses our storms for good. He uses our storms to, to reach and to teach others. He uses them for his glory and for his good. Mm -hmm. And so on Romans uh, 8 and 28, when we think about the confidence and the purpose and the providence of God, thankfulness in all circumstances, that alone can make me thankful in all circumstances. Yes. When I think about Romans 8 and 28, yes. and he didn't stop at 28, <laughs> and this, this is this is the grand gesture of yes, 8 and 28 days. Yes. All right. Because all right. you can't stop right there. You gotta go to 29. Mm -hmm. 29 says, for whom he foreknew, yeah. he also predestined yes, yes, to yes. be conformed to the image of his son, yes. mm -hmm. that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. He said, moreover whom he predestined, these he also called. All right. Whom he called, these he also justified. And whom he justified, these he also glorified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when we look at that word for new, it's to, to, to have previous knowledge. He says, for whom he foreknew, mm. he also predestined. I'm so right. glad he foreknew me. <laughs> he foreknew, he, he knew, he already had previous knowledge of some things that was going to go on in my life. Yes. He already knew before it happened mm -hmm. that he was going to, that, that there was going to be some things in my life. But he had already worked out the outcome. Mm -hmm. He had already determined that the word predestined, pre means before. Right. Yeah, and yeah. so because I'm destined in his will, mm -hmm. so before they happened, he already fixed it. Okay, yeah. And so when we're thinking about being thankful in everything, mm -hmm. we got to always remember Whatever we in, yeah, God done yeah. already fixed it. Yeah. And so if God done fixed it, it's well fixed. Yeah. So all we need to do is yeah. say, thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I may yeah, not yeah. have food yeah. today, yeah. but thank you, Lord. Yeah. I know you're going to send some somewhere, yeah. somehow, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I may not be working right now, but thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because I already know that there's a job that you already got predestined because you foreknew me. Yeah. You knew that I was going to be in this situation yeah. at this present time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that, that, that's the importance Ooh. of giving thanks in our circumstances. Yeah. Because circumstances encompasses 8 and 28, but we can't have, we can't say, and we know without yeah. knowing that we've <laughs> already been predestined for Thank what we're in right now today. My Lord. See, Thank you, Lord. Somebody don't. My Lord. Yeah, yeah. COVID-19 Thank you, Lord. was already yeah. already. Yeah. It didn't come from the Republicans. Yeah, God allowed it to happen. Yeah. But he allowed it to happen so me, little old me, yeah. can get myself together mm. and I can then say, and I know yeah. Yeah, that COVID is working together for the good. All right. Yes. All right. Because God in yes. COVID, God is making me more and more like his son. Thank He's bringing me not. more and more into the salvation Thank to know that. This is not where I'm going to rest my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got to look to eternity. Oh, yeah. Because that's where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. This is temporary. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Not always like this. Well. So in all my circumstances, Leanna, I can say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Thank you, God. Not always yeah. like this. You might not work working like I want you to work. Yeah. But thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> it, 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 this, this scripture just says August the seventh, and sometimes we things seem a little minute, mm -hmm. you know, little things. Mm -hmm. But God said, "All circumstances, right? Mm -hmm. All means all, right, Judy? Yes. All, all means all. all. Yes. all so time. August the seventh, my stove went out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and y'all know people at my house. They like to eat. They like to eat." So, 
when my, when my, when my, when, when, when my, it's called a control board, which controls my oven, the, the top board. Yeah. But I like the bake. So, all of the seven came out, looked at my oven, said, okay, Miss Stamps, we're going to order the part next Wednesday. I'm going to come back to be at your house next Wednesday. I'm going to come back, mm -hmm. and next Wednesday I'm going to fix your oven, and mm -hmm. you're going to have a stove. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell y'all something. This is what day I covered it for, the 2020. I still don't have a screen. So, I'm, I'm going somewhere, y'all. Come on, come on. Come yes. on. So, about August the 18th, I started calling seniors. And I would not. And I don't know me, I'm transparent. <laughs> so, I started calling seniors. And I was like, okay, now. It's August 18, where's my, what, what's going on with my stove? Yeah. So they were send me from this person to that person. They send me to this and send me to that. And so after about the third call, I started calling. So I got this little lady on the phone, but God already knew how this thing was gonna turn out. Mm -hmm. Before he knew me, he knew me. Yeah. He predestined. Yeah. He'd already known that August 7th that stove was going out and we was gonna be without a stove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got this little lady and she started saying, well, you know, there's nothing I can do. I gotta give you back to the people that came out and did the work. And I said, holla, 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 holla. <laughs> I said, I don't wanna go to nobody else. I pulled out my, my work card. Mm. I ain't worked since 2020. I pulled out my work card. I said, look, I worked in customer service for the city of Houston for almost 30 years. I said, I know how customer service works. I said, I don't want to talk to you. Let me talk to your supervisor. I said, don't give me your associate. I said, give me a supervisor. I just ran it down. No matter how I ran it down, yeah. I, I told her for 2020, I still you don't have, have a soul. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> finally, about two weeks ago, on a Friday, I called, mm -hmm. studied my list, and <laughs> I went in my office, I sit down, and I prayed. I said, you know what, Lord? I said, I gotta give this to you. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't handle this. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't, I can't mm -hmm. fix this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I said, cause I'm gonna have a stroke. Yeah. If I don't let this go. Yeah. I said, I gotta give this to you. And what the kind of pressure for me? You know, my husband was saying, don't worry about it. Yeah. You ain't got the cook. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, you know. And even one day, I went to Gail's house and used a brand new oven, brand new stove. <laughs> I cooked my heart out. Brand new. But then I had to, I had to, this is, this is, I had to pack up all my seasoning and pack up all my stuff, my pots and go there. And I said, this ain't working. And so, And I got Miss Teresa on the line, and Miss Teresa sent me up to Miss Patsy, and, and I got to Miss Patsy. She said, "We're not gonna do this no more." She said, "I'm going to expedite you. Mm. I'm going to send you to the people that can do something for you." She said, and "Look for an email around Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, I open up my email. They say we send you a check for a thousand and eighty dollars to replace your stuff." All right. When I stepped back, yeah, yeah. When I took Take my stuff out, yeah, yeah. When I began to pray, yeah.
Yeah. It's true. Yeah. 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 If he yeah. say that I can walk through these things, can't give him thanks. God said, give him thanks in all things because of the answer will of God. Yes, if, yes. All, if God said it, I can do it. Yeah. Yes. But it's me that's in the way. Yeah. yeah. It's me that I got to move out of yeah. yeah. It's it. me that I got to die to. That's it. And when I die to myself, yeah. And let Christ take over. Yeah. Then I can say thank you, Lord. Yeah. I may be by myself right now, mm. but thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I know, God, that you're working it out. Oh, yeah. Mama and Daddy is gone, God. Mm -hmm. But you told me in your word that you would be a mother yeah. and you would be a father. Thank yeah. you, Lord. That you would yeah. never leave me. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. 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 Process in faith this morning. Mm -hmm. It's a process to it. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. 
And so when we think about the process of faith and what we what faith really is to us, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith, we understand that the worlds were formed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Nothing he made was visible. All right. He just called nothing into something. Mm. He took nothing and made something. Yeah, yeah. And so we're talking about this, yeah. though. We're talking about having a faith in a God that can take nothing oui. and make something. Oui. We're talking about giving thanks in all circumstances yes. to a God that we can have true trust in to uh, uphold us mm -hmm. in things that that, that are going on in our life. Right. There's a, there's a, a uh, I think we did it at marriage ministry one time. There's a uh, exercise that you do. Mm -hmm. And your mate stands behind you and you're in the front, wow. but you got to fall back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you got to trust, trust yeah. that your mate going to catch you yeah. when you fall back. Yeah. And so when we are in these trials and tribulations, we got a God that we don't have to think twice to see if you and your mate are going to fight that night because right. your mate right. might not right. catch you. Oh, <laughs> but we, <laughs> our arms ain't big enough to box with God. Yeah. We got to have a fight with right. God because God is right. the So if I'm trusting him and I fall back in my trials and my yes. tribulations, yes. if times have, if I've fallen on bad times and I fall back on God, yeah. 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 he's going to yeah. catch yeah. me. So in all of that, I've got to give him back. Mm. 
pain, when the phone calls start ringing, mm. when you get a bad diagnosis, when you hear bad news from your children, mm. turn it over to God. Yes. And walk through your yes. house, wherever yeah. you are, and just yes. say, Lord, I thank you because yes. I love you, God. Yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Begin to start thanks living. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.